Hey, hey, everybody! It is live! How are you doing today, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Margaret. This is my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today we have got a Bolo video coming. And it's not coming, it's here. So, today, Bolos. If you are wondering what this video is all about, this is the seventh Bolo video we've done. And I want to thank all of the contributors that have contributed to the Bolo videos. Um, so basically what we are doing here is members in our two Facebook groups. One is called International League of Thrifters. The other is Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. They contribute to a weekly or bi-weekly thread, bi-weekly, bi-monthly thread, um, where they share things that have sold for a good profit for people to BOLO, which stands for Be On The Lookout For. So we talk about different things. I always learn something new. I get lots of comments about how much everyone is enjoying these videos. So in order for them to remain successful, we need you. <laughs> we need you guys to go over there, join International League of Thrifters, join Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, and when the next BOLO thread pops up, give it a share. Uh, find something maybe that you've sold lately or something that was an awesome sale, something maybe people don't always look out for, um, and share it because that's how we learn. That's how we all learn together. And this is a big world. It's okay to share. <laughs> so let me show you what, okay, so this is International League of Thrifters. Um, this is what the Bolo thread looks like. I actually probably ought to turn this one off so it doesn't get ad. Uh, turn off commenting. So, because I've, I've grabbed all the ones from this one. So that's what it looks like, International League of Thrifters, and then Jewelry Lovers and Sellers as well. Oh, I don't have the Bolo thread pulled up over here, but this is, we've got the Hope Diamond up top, so in that group. So go over and join those two groups. The links are right down below, so we'd love to have you. We've got lots of other fun things going on as well, so yes. Okay, now then, before we get into it, I'm going to say hey in the chat because I'm, I'm, I am live. If you're watching later, the chat can be found either to that that way if you're on your computer. I think it's that way. And then on your phone, mobile phone, you can like scroll down and you can see the live chat all that as it happens. Hello, Destry, Kaylee, Cindy, and Rope and Reseller, Diana and Patty. Hi, Chrissy and Diane. Hi, Cindy and Jen. The Budget Baker's here. Uh, Francis D. Green, the Adventure. Diana, hello, everybody. Hi, Aaron, Pooja, and Annika, and Angel. And I know I get picked on. Sometimes people say, don't talk to people in the chat. It's it just, just, it just, just such a distraction. But you know what? We keep talking about this. And you guys are my tribe. We, we're, we have to. We gotta find our tribe. We gotta make our tribe where we can. So join our tribe. Hit subscribe. <laughs> I said that yesterday. It felt so cheesy. So I will continue saying it. I don't mind the cheese. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, Texas Gal Homeschools. I have a, a another YouTube channel and I started the Facebook group. I haven't um, done a whole lot with it because things have kind of been up in the air. But yeah, go over there and join it, and things will jump off eventually. It's the life. We're moving. Things will get there. <laughs> things will get better. Okay, bolos. Here we go. So let's start with our first bolo. This bolo was <laughs> shared. Oh, I grabbed the wrong screen, y'all. Okay. When I get going, y'all know me. I get like going, and then I'm too fast. I need to slow down. <laughs> right? Don't listen to them. That's not, I'm like, when people, and I still get those comments every now and then when they, when they say that, I'm like, hi, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel. That's what we do here. We talk to each other. <laughs> okay. All right. So our first, now I have heard of this brand before. I've never found this, Coogie, um, but I know I've heard people mention it before. So Debbie in International League of Thrifters shared um, that she paid $4 at Salvation Army for this, and it took about three to four weeks for it to sell at full price, $324. So what I like to do when, when um, our friends share their bolos is I go over and I like to take a look at solds um, so we can kind of get a look at is it anything from that brand? Is it anything to do with that? Or are there very specific certain things that sell for what the bolo was. So, was the video doing that thing again? Because yesterday it was doing it too. It was like pull, like, yeah, going out. 
Okay, so let's take a look. These are sold. Why is it doing this? I like list view. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> so these are sold, and I usually click. I, I didn't do a whole lot. I just pulled them up really fast yesterday evening so I could go. So normally I sort by buy it now. I don't think I did that. So let me do that because that's generally what I do. But there were some on there for auction. Okay. So here is a Kugi. These are sold. And if I'm saying that wrong, my apologies. Um, 1980s Coogie. I'm not sure you can say Cosby in the... I mean, I know that people call him the Cosby sweater, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you could get... Is that a Vero? What's the word <laughs> for that? Um, all right, so here's a Coogie 140. Because that was just like a black one. That's not even like what you would... I wouldn't just walk right by that, right? Because it's not the bright, funky colors that you're used to seeing. Um, see, so again, I got the Cosby in there. Cosby. Biggie. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I don't know. So, some are going for more. This is more of a cardigan style. 62 bucks. 149 Here's 129 I don't know if it's because it's not as loud and bright. So, maybe the ones that are the funky, funky, wild colors. Look at this one. They got a good model there. Or maybe it's a stock photo. I'm not sure. So, yeah. I think... It looks like probably the brighter colored ones, the funkier, weird ones are the ones to look out for. Because some of the others, I might have just walked right by. I wouldn't have even thought they were. Look at that. That's wild. Okay. So I'm not sure why some are a little lower price than others. So if you come across one, definitely, um, yeah, take a look. Google it. eBay sold it and see what, what comes up. Okay. If, yeah, if, if the video keeps cutting out, just refresh it. I know it was happening with some other people um, on other channels too, so I watched back the video yesterday and it seemed to not show up after the fact, so yeah, darn it. Alright, so the next bolo um, was shared by Donna. Oh, and also, if you share a bolo, if you've got like a YouTube channel or an Instagram, Facebook, or if you want your shop shared out, um, leave a link. I only had a few people do that. You don't have to, but if you want, you know, then I can shout out your YouTube channel or your Instagram or your Pinterest for people to come and follow you as well. Because we like to follow people that share, right? Alrighty, so this was a lot of Enya songbooks, right? So, hang on, I'm trying to get it a little smaller so you can see it better. I think you get the picture, but it looks, you know, it's a lot of songbooks, and yeah. So she sold this, what did she say? Um, I paid about a dollar for the lot at Savers, and it sold in about two months for $29.99. So at first I thought, okay, well, let's look up Enya, um, just like Enya sheet music and stuff like that. I, there weren't a whole lot. So $10.19 for one, five bucks, $8.99. So it was like, okay, you know, I did in your sheet music instead of, let me look up songbooks. Songbook, maybe that's why. Um, I mean, there's a few, there's her lot, that's cool. So then I thought, okay, well, there's a few, is it just Enya? Maybe we should look up other songbooks. I know I've had sheet music that didn't go for that much. So I thought, let's look up sheet music, just sheet music. So under vintage and antique sheet music, there were some, and I didn't sort by highest to lowest or anything, but there were some that um, sold for pretty good money. You can see some of these are on auction as well. Wow, rag picking man. Okay, rag time. Some of these look like 20s, 30s style sheet music. Dynamite. Wow, okay. So, I mean, I guess it, it looks like a lot of the rag time stuff is going for pretty good money. Blues, old stuff like that. So... I mean, I guess if you come across a bunch of, like, really old sheet music, it wouldn't hurt to take a peek at it. Um, boy, I think I need to learn the, the words to this. He's got my goat. Um, yeah. Anyway, okay. It's worth a look-see because sometimes they are. And I know I look for – I have some that I've, I've picked up for my son who's learning – well, sort of learning the piano. But just things that I think he might be interested in, you know. Okay, let me see. You sold the tie-dye one for 30 bucks, Kaylee said. I'm guessing the Kugi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apologies that, that YouTube is acting funky monkey. And we're going to call it funky monkey. <laughs> okay, next, um, 
Donna also shared this. She said, I thrifted these from our kitchen cupboard. So these are those uh, Fire King Jadeite uh, mugs. Look how thick those are. Isn't that amazing? So these are two heavy C-handled mugs. They each weigh nearly a pound. Could you imagine? You're getting your workout, just drinking your coffee in the morning. Um, 40, so they sold on auction for $49.99. So let's take a peek at some other solds. So if you look up Fire King Jadeite and then just click sold listings. And again, these are auctions and buy it now because I was just pulling them all up yesterday. Wow, okay. And I see them every now and then, and I'm always like, eh, I'm not going to go there this time. Maybe, I, you know, but but they've got some pretty good, I wonder if I have some in the other room, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, yeah, I mean, Fire King, Anchor Hawking, 37 bucks for a casserole dish, 20 bucks. So pretty, it looks pretty collectible, 65 So keep your eyes peeled at garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores for, okay, see, look, these handles are different than hers. These have a, a, like more of like a capital D, and hers were more like this. Like these almost more, look more like diner style mugs, you know. Um, they are the restaurant wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so pretty good. Pretty uh, overall looks. I mean, for a mug, twelve fifty. I like that. Looks pretty good overall. Uh, someone around here is a jadeite fiend, so I never get them at a state sales. Darn. Uh, Kaylee says, I had three jazz music books a couple months back. I sold them as a set for 50 bucks. Someone took that offer. I believe it. That's awesome. A lot of sheet music gets good money because of the art on the front page, Vicky says. Oh, that's good to know, too. Yeah, I and I've got my grandmother's, well, I guess it was ours and my grandma, but anyway. My aunt played piano, my grandmother played piano. We had to learn piano growing up. And so we have like a piano bench full of like sheet music and songbooks and stuff like that. So I ought to go through it. <laughs> I have one that's the Muppets, but that's mine <laughs> from growing up and I'm keeping it. Um, I've watched Taco Stacks and he gets some cool pieces, but he collects. Oh, does he collect? Does he really collect Fire King? Wow, Jedi. Cool. Didn't Martha Stewart put out a jadeite line? Oh, she might have. I don't know that. Okay, next up, this one was a new one for me. Okay, I know people, there are some people, and there's no judgment, that like to buy used pantyhose and socks and other unmentionables. But new vintage socks, I mean, they just look athletic socks, right? No. No, apparently they're not just athletic socks. So Carolyn shared, I'm always looking out, I'm always looking for out of the box. Now, if these had been tube socks, I could have gotten 200 bucks for them. They sold as soon as they were listed. And at first I was like, what, 200 bucks? And then I searched and she's right. <laughs> so these are vintage. They're new, they have the, the tag on them and everything, Spalding, Crew competition socks, 1970s stripes, $47.95 is what they sold for. Okay, just take them in. It's a pair of socks. I walk past socks all the time. All the time. So now I'm going to take a second look at, at socks. So these are sold. And again, I have auctions and buy it nows on here. Hang on, let me peek in the chat real quick. Um... Thrifting Lister and Mistresses, I collect jadeite. C handles are better than the D handles, in my opinion. I pay more for C handles. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, Fire King goes to Japan for some reason. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, dear. Last time I shipped glass, Aaron says, the postal employees tossed it across the room like a football. It arrived broken. Oh, dear. When was jadeite made? That's a good question. Do I want to give you an educated guess? I would think... 40s, 50s, somewhere in there. Um, new old stock pantyhose and underwear sells very well. Yeah, and, and I knew that about hosiery, like new old stock hosiery. If you're wondering what NOS stands for, new old stock means it's old stock, but it's still with new. Okay, anyway, not unused. So, but yeah, 47 bucks. Okay, so here we go, here we go, back on track. 
So here we go. These are solds, and I just typed in vintage Spalding socks. I know there's other brands and things like that. So two bids on these. They were not new. $47. Here are some Spalding vintage athletic socks. Just plain white, like with Spalding on it. Here are some vintage Spalding Orlon socks. $104. 14 bids. Tube socks. Um, five pairs, new, two Spaldings, three others, $39. Here's a pair, $39. Here's some, um, best offer was taken, 100 bucks is what they were listed for. $19.99. Look at these ones. Best offer was accepted, but they were listed for $99. Okay, so keep your eyes out. 1940s, okay, okay, that's why I'm like, somewhere in there probably, yeah, for the Jadeite. Um, Kaylee says I get large, big knickknack sets of cat items from yard sale for twenty bucks. Sold them as a set all the next day for a hundred bucks. One lady bought them all because it, she's a huge cat fan. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. I have sold Era Stock Harmony stockings, vintage and packaged very well, and I see them out, and I just I don't know. Maybe because I'm so focused on other things. All right, so keep your eyes out. And then um, Amanda shared, she says, I probably paid a dime for this by weight. It sold quickly for $80. And this is a vintage Nike 90s color block full zip windbreaker swoosh trademark jacket. So she sold this for $80. Could you imagine you pay for, I mean, I'm guessing like at, at the bins. Oh my gosh, when we were in Austin, you know, I was checking out some Goodwills and I was, you know, Google mapping myself to a Goodwill. And then I, as I was pulling up, it said the Goodwill outlet. And I just, I wasn't mentally prepared to go in. It was like four in the afternoon. I had been around all day with the kids. And I was like, I am not mentally, from what I've heard, because I've never been to one. What, from what I've heard, I don't think I, want, I need to have full strength and be fully caffeinated before I take me and the boys <laughs> into the Goodwill outlet. So yeah, but I can imagine like finding something like this at the Goodwill outlet and yeah, 80 bucks. So then I thought, okay, let's take a peek at Nike color block windbreaker. And then I also did a search just for color block jacket to see, does it have to be Nike or do all like color block stuff from the nineties? Oh, if I only had some of the shirts, I had some amazing color block shirts in the nineties. Um, Oh no, I know, right, Destry? I worked at a sports shoe store and clothing store in the early 90s. Wish I had known to collect these windsuits, right? And there were so many things my mom tried to get me to wear that I was like, there's no way on this planet I'm wearing that. But I did have a couple color block shirts. <laughs> All right, so here are some solds. And these, again, these are auctions and buy it now, even though I, normally I do buy it now. So 27 bucks there, about 50 bucks here. 69 some of these are best offer was taken 30 bucks it seems like the brighter the colors the more blocky the better they they seem to do there's a 40 dollars one 39 so these are all nike ones they all seem pretty look at this one look look see this bright colors really blocky 140 bucks wow all right. Okay. So let's let's look just at color block. Let's say it's not a Nike. Is it still worth picking up? And from what I can tell, same same rules apply. It's like if it's color blocked and bright colors, it seems to do better. From what I saw, here's one. I don't know if my my arrow is not showing up for you. I don't think. Here I'll hover it over so it underlines it. Forty three dollars. You know, here's sixty nine. I know the best offer was saying. Look at that big Adidas one. Ooh. I'm surprised it didn't go for more. Hmm. Here's a Tommy Hill figure, but it was oh, seven bids. Okay. So yeah, did I click salt on here? Hang on. Yeah, I did. Okay. I could have sworn there was. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There's a, another Tommy Hill figure one. 119. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh. If you'd hit the thrift stores then and snatched them all up when the moms were donating them. Look at this. 300 bucks. Oh, that's a North Face one. Okay. Cool. So, you know, and those tend, like the kooky sweaters, you know, some of this color block stuff might pop out a little bit um, if you're looking for it. I don't do a whole lot of clothes, but it's a good place to start, I would think. Um, 
Let's see. Oh, dear. Wear gloves and a mask at the Goodwill outlet. Oh, really? Is that bad? Oh, gosh. Huh. Um, when we go to the bins, I can only stay there for a max of two hours. And I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things where I have to go the first time and just expect to not get anything. Just expect to go in and get a feel for what it's like and then just go to mentally prepare myself. I don't, from what I hear, it may be just like, whatever, not a big deal, you know. Um, Kaylee's saying, I sold three, three days ago some rock band t-shirts like Kiss Aerosmith for 30 bucks. They were all together, all together, 70 bucks. One young man bought them all. That's cool. Awesome. Okay, so I think that's it for the eyelot one. So let's go over to jewelry lovers and sellers, our bolo thread. Let me turn off commenting in case you're joining in now. <laughs> so hang on, let me close out of these ones. Close, close. So I can find all my tabs. Close. Don't let me go too far. Uh, there we go. Okay, let me pull this to the side so I can see who said what. Okay, before I go on, let me go see how many people we have watching because I don't even know. I have too many windows open to even know. 47 watchers. Okay, go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. Hey, thanks for hanging out, guys. Okay, so first up, you walked in, turned around, and walked out. Heather <laughs> said, <laughs> oh, wear a mask. You got a sinus inf Oh my gosh, gross. I can't even. Somebody that's in Austin, tell me, because I know some people in Austin have watched. Yeah, okay. Like rubber gloves, or like what kind of gloves are we talking about here? Do I need like leather gloves? I mean, I'm a bit concerned. I'm a little bit, of, not, I'm not a major germaphobe, but I'm like, don't be gross. I don't want to be gross. Bugs freak me out, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, okay. So the next uh, thing on our bolo list is from Juliana, who's in the Jewelry Lovers and Sellers group. She said the brand Toshikani. I found a tie pin from a brand from this brand could go for over uh, 50 bucks. They sell different types of jewelry button covers, all of which sold uh, sell for great. Okay, and I have sold this brand before, so I'll share my sold as well. Uh, has Matt seriously? Oh, uh, people of the bins are acting like it's Black Friday when the new bins. Oh, medical gloves. Okay. Just don't make it a bruise. So, okay. Um, so here we go. So Tashikani, um, basically it's like a, I think it's Japanese. It's what I'm, uh, from what I remember. I'm saying China, China here, but I'm, I have a feeling they're Japanese. Um, so these are some buttons. We've got some salt and pepper, it looks like. These are solds. So here's a porcelain ring, 138 bucks. So a lot of, uh, there's quite a bit of figural stuff with, with Tashikani things. Uh, these faces, Gods of Good Fortune bracelet. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's all these little faces. Um, so yeah, it's stuff like this. Some of it kind of looks enameled. Some of it looks usually figural, Asian. So there's a seahorse, 125 bucks. So here is, I pulled out um, Toshikani tie tack because that's what I sold. And that's what Juliana sold. Hers sold for 50 bucks. So here are just tie tacks. And again, men's accessories are something that, that I got started with when I was selling jewelry because it's frequently overlooked as anything. You know, I, I bought some today at an estate sale. Don't judge me, okay? It's jewelry. I will keep buying jewelry. I bought some, some men's stuff at a, an estate sale today. Um... Because usually it's just, you know, they, they focus more on the women's jewelry, but you can find really nice stuff that sells for amazing money with the men's stuff. So here we have some more tie pins, lapel pins, tie tacks. Um, I don't know that some of these are Tashikani. No, I think it must have gotten off on there somewhere. Okay, here's the one I sold. So here's mine. And I just, that face, right? When I saw that face, I was like, I don't know who you are, but you are coming with me. So I bought him, and I sold him for 75 bucks. So he is a tie tack, you know, looks like that. And let's see if I can get, I don't know if I got a closer shot of the, no, um, Toshikani. Anyway, um, it's usually laid back and fine at Austin Benz. Fun crowd, I've been there, oh, there's two of them? Been to both, and it's a hoot. Take a friend the first time, have lunch after 
You don't wear gloves. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I got my kids, so I'm, I mean, I don't know how we're going to work this with kids. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat, like, talking about stories from the bins. You remember? I know this, and this is what I come back to a lot to show, like, y'all can make some serious money with men's accessories. I'll probably do a haul video from what I got today, um, either, maybe Saturday, because there's a church garage sale on Saturday I'm going to. Um, I'm focusing on jewelry, guys. I really am downsizing, but I will still, if I don't go look for jewelry, I'll miss that good stuff. <laughs> You're missing out, right? Okay, so next up, um, Cindy shared Stella and Dot. I found a really great piece that should sell for around 25 bucks. And um, so I searched Stella and Dot, and these are sold. So I'm seeing... This is an auction as well, $21. I'm trying to get a feel for the style, okay? So it looks kind of, I don't know, mo not modern, I guess modern, yeah. So some little bangles, which I might have walked past, 30 bucks, five bids. Here's one, it's just a simple, oh, that's like a choker style bar, or like necklace with a tassel on it. Okay, cool, 11 I feel like I've had a necklace like that before. Wow, okay. Just taking a peek, scrolling through. Let me hit buy it now because I sometimes the, the auction prices are lower than what they actually go for because it is sometimes like that. Um so $21.50 for this necklace. Okay. So keep an eye out for Stella and Dot jewelry. There's 25 bucks. Not too bad. I mean some of it's like, how would I know to, would I pick that up? I'm gonna have to Figure out, you know, what their maker's mark look, look, looks, pardon me, looks like. Um, and then Cindy has a YouTube channel y'all go follow. She has 65 subscribers, so go over there and show Cindy some love because she does really fun jewelry unboxings. She shares her jewelry hauls and stuff like that. So head on over there and subscribe. Cindy loves jewelry. All right, next is Chico's Jewelry. This is also Juliana. Chico's Jewelry, not, while not always a high seller, people look for it and it sells well. I agree. I totally agree with that. There, I have known people that are Chico fanatics. I, don't, I mean, I don't personally, I don't wear, usually shop at Chico's, but I've known people that are just like everything Chico's, you know. And so these are sold. Um, let me go ahead and hit the buy it now because I get frustrated when I see those auction prices that are like four dollars like no okay so here's a chica's necklace 15 bucks here's another for 20 this is a soul for 34 see that's cool i would totally sell that look at these earrings like 13 dollars and 95 cents and they're just i don't know to me i'm like okay they're pretty simple um yeah those ones i wouldn't sell for that okay 16 bucks. So, I mean, like she said, you know, it's maybe not high sellers, but they're pretty steady. Some pieces tend to look like they do better. Sometimes they have really chunky necklaces and stuff, like really not gaudy, but like really big statement necklaces. You know what I mean? So it's something to look for. Look at this. Okay. That long necklace like that. That's a good way to show it, I guess. I, I'm the worst about taking pictures of long necklaces. I've got to get better at it. So... I'm back and smiling. Hey, Davia. Yeah. <laughs> you can't keep me down for long, right? <laughs> it's like Molly Brown. You hear that, Mrs. McGraw? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, sorry. Um, that's my movie. I, I didn't, and I didn't watch that this time. So, all right. Uh, next up, we have got. Oh, I've lost where I am. Okay, Carolyn shared this. Carolyn shared vintage, the brand is called Lunch at the Ritz, which is totally new for me. I have never found this brand. I've never, I don't think I've, I may have heard of it, but I don't remember really a, a very much. So um, Lunch at the Ritz is enamel on brass jewelry from the late 80s, early 90s. She says, gaudiest jewelry you've ever seen. You can spot it a mile away. Some is 24K plated. I've only sold earrings, but there are other pieces as well. 
Easy to find in areas that snowbirds winter. Definitely an item to pay up on. So if you're in areas that people go to, you know, like in Florida where people that are usually they're people that have money, um, come down and get away from the, the cold. So these are sold listings. So here we've got, looks like a pendant pin, 175 bucks. I know these best offers were taken on these, but just to get a look at them. Some goldfish, they are pretty gaudy. Look at these birds in a bird cage. Looks like, I can't read with, oh, three blind mice, okay. There's a butterfly, 89 bucks, a giraffe. Look at these ones, wow. Leopards, $67. Okay, so I wanted to see, like, okay, well, how am I going to notice, how am I going to find these? Oh, look at those mermaids. Woo. Okay, so I wanted to see what the mark looks like. So this is what the mark looks like. It says Lunch at the Ritz in cursive on this little plaque on the back. And here is this butterfly one, so you can see where it is. There it is right there. So that's what you're looking for when you're checking out the lunch. Uh... Lunch at the Ritz, okay? Uh, okay? Oh, thanks for subbing to Cindy, yeah. And she's one of the admins over in Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, too. And I don't know, I don't know what I'd do without her. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, all the admins, especially with stuff that's been going on, it's... Yeah, yeah. I'll get my feet under me with all the move and with all the everything pretty soon. Hopefully. Hopefully soon, anyway. Um, I know the, the mermaids are cute. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, all right, next up, um, Veronica shared, I love Marjorie Bear SF jewelry. I always look for her and Laurel Birch jewelry when thrifting or yard sailing. Um, so this is a Marjorie Bear, and Bear is not spelled like Bear, it's spelled like the German Bear, like B-A-E-R. I'm going to sneeze, maybe. So this is a figural brooch that looks like this, sort of artsy. It's kind of like a pumpkin, maybe. Sort of. How did you describe that? Good job, by the way. Yeah, sculptural. Okay, good, good, good. Artisan. So this one, forty-two fifty, and so and this is on Etsy. So I went over to eBay to take a look at solds, and it's I, I would pick this stuff up if I hadn't I hadn't heard of her before, but I would pick it up because I like stuff like this, like that mixed metal, the um the hammered metal look, because I tend to see that it sells. Um, pretty well like stuff like this vintage brass tribal dangle that kind of thing $95 what here's another one two-tone circle so these like mixed when you see the brass and the silver the copper that kind of thing going together um, I, I pick that kind of stuff up so yeah yay I'm looking to see if there's any more here's another $19.99 $28.99 pretty good Pretty good. So keep an eye out. There's one for 35. Maybe I have seen her stuff. Maybe I just, I don't know. Okay, see like this, where it's like copper, is that copper or brass? You know, with the silver on there. I know, right? Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I also went ahead and looked at the Laurel Birch. Now Laurel Birch, you can find bags and purses and jackets and things too. Usually it's like really bright colors from what I can think of kind of on a darker background, you know, with cats and you know the style when you see it, you know, and she does sell jewelry as well that which can go for good money. Um, so here are some solds. I'm pretty sure I clicked sold, didn't I? Let me click on buy it now too because maybe I did not click sold. Hang on. Sold listing. So there, yeah, there's one of those cats. So here we go. Here's some Laurel Birch. These are not her general style. They're the cat. That cat is. So when you see that style, you know, it like you could see it from a mile away. But apparently there's some others that are not what you would normally think of as her style. But they still seem to do okay. So $17.99 for some earrings there. Like this sort of cloisonne look. That's a little more her style. But that one cat was really like this. Like this cat. You will see this like on pet bags and purses and look at the lion. Okay, look at that. $37. Okay, so definitely keep an eye out for Laurel Birch. Even the bags and stuff can can go for good money if they're in good shape and everything. So Okay, I missed something in the chat. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Didn't you have a cat like that? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um, you find the purses a lot, but they don't sell for much. Oh, okay. I could have sworn they would have sold for better. Okay, and then um, Veronica has an Instagram called Sally's Vintage Finds. So go over and follow her on Instagram. So she, oh, look at this bee. That's so cute. She, oh, you can't see it because I have it scooched over. There it is. Ha ha. <laughs> There's Ingrid. So go over and follow her on Sally's Vintage Finds on Instagram. I always like what, seeing how other people take pictures and what kind of things they share on their Instagram. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you guys, go over. Make sure that you are joined, that you joined International League of Thrifters, that you joined Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. And I mean it like we, we you like the bolos, you like the bolo videos. Got to have members contributing so that we can keep them up. So go over there, make sure you're sharing a bolo this next round. Go round. This next go round. Okay. Um, also, go down there and hit the, the thumbs up button and leave a comment. Tell me a bolo or tell me hey. Say hey. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I just like to see who's coming to hang out. I don't know. If you're not here live, why not? Say hey. All right, guys, I'll uh, talk to you guys later. I'm off to go pack some more, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh, bye, everybody.